Alrighty, it's come to my attention that you all ain't reading your Bible. So we're going to have ourselves a lesson, okay? Now, if you turn to page 61, Earl says there's some advanced left-hand techniques down here where there is this one little common lick that we use all the time in playing banjo, and he says, I would rather you hold off until a later date to try to learn it. Well, I think today's just as good as any other, and sometimes you got to run before you walk, right? <laughs> so, if I play it exactly like it is in the book, it's going to sound... All right, that wasn't exact. I gotta, I gotta not have that pull off. I've been playing too much Jimmy Martin lately. There we go. That's how Earl would have done it. Okay. So what you're looking for is just two hammers with your index on the third finger, okay, and onto the middle finger from the second and third fret. And you want to also use your index down here on the third string. So just put one right on top of the other, okay. Then you want to make sure you play it again, but open. Okay, so this will be one, two, three notes. And now all you have to do is play second fret, fourth string with your thumb, middle finger first, thumb on the third. Okay, so we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six timing with it is a little funny because it's not starting on the downbeat. In other words, you notice there's six notes in this little kind of eight or nine note run, however you want to look at it. So that's why these hammers have to be not necessarily eighth notes. Okay, here's what I mean by that. You got to kind of hold off on the timing a little bit. So this is going to be probably two quarters and then eighth notes. Scruggs, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Everybody does it, okay? Now, I don't recommend you trying to play with other fingers or trying to get other pick strokes down here because you're going to end up getting pick tied in your right hand or your left hand if you're lefty, okay? So try to stay true to exactly the way Earl did it. There's a reason why it is the way it is. Because there are lots of variations out there which I showed you a crowism, I call it, and where you can add that pull off right in there, right off that second hammer, okay? Or instead of playing just a straight thumb on the fourth, second fret, you can also turn this into a pull off. So now all of a sudden it sounds busier, even though you're not doing anything more with your hand down here. So just a couple little left-handed tricks. That's why it's called advanced left-handed techniques. I don't like that. It sounds a little too busy. So I, I just stay pretty straight for that one. Oh, by the way, this uh, kind of helps you play some of them Jimmy Martin tunes, right? All right. So make sure you practice. Make sure you get that timing right, because... When we get to some of those Jimmy Martin tunes, you're going to wish that you had. 